Hi there and welcome to this video. Today we're going to dive into the top 15 most viewed videos about Ukraine in the past week. It's been an even full time, so let's get started. The most viewed video last week comes from Sky News. Journalists report that the focus of fighting is on the Zaporizhia region with Ukrainian forces probing in four different directions. Interestingly, NATO has expressed concerns about the vulnerability of undersea pipelines and internet cables. Let's jump into the videos that caught people's attention. Videos 2, 3, 9 and 11 are all from Denis Davidov, a Ukrainian civilian pilot who has one of the most followed channels on the Ukrainian conflict, boasting 700,000 subscribers. Denis provides daily summaries covering a range of topics related to the war, including military, operations, politics and Western support. In his latest video on June the 19th, Denis discussed the Ukrainian counterattack in the South, noting slow progress but emphasizing that Ukraine has the advantage. He also mentions the destruction of a major Russian arms depot in Likove. However, some Western media outlets such as the Wall Street Journal and CNN have reported that the Ukrainian counter-offensive might be slower than expected or even stalled. And there are rumors of Ukrainian soldiers refusing to fight on Leopard tanks. Denis reminds us that at the beginning of the war, the West also underestimated Ukraine's ability to resist. Video number Number 4, From the Sun, provides a top view of Ukrainian troops attacking Russian trenches. It's an intense scene that showcases the ongoing conflict. Maxim Katz, a Russian dissident with 1.8 million subscribers, is a creator of video number 5. In this video, he discusses the new Russian bill against non-binary gender and raises ethical concerns. Videos number 6 and 13 are from reporting from Ukraine, a YouTuber with 300,000 subscribers and praised by many other YouTubers for the quality of his report. He delivers precise daily reports on the military situation. His last video reveals his confidence about the advancing Ukrainian forces. Maxim Katz returns with video number 7, where he comments on Putin's statements about denazification and Jews during the economic forum in St. Petersburg. The viral video number 8 features a Russian soldier surrendering to a Ukrainian drone. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend checking it out. Video number 10 from NBC News covers the visit of African leaders to Moscow. The leaders requested an end to the conflict in Ukraine due to the instability and harm it is causing globally. In response, Vladimir Putin insisted that it is the Ukrainian side refusing negotiation. Warthog Defense, an American channel with 560,000 subscribers, presents video number 12. They discuss Russia's killing triad, which combines mines, helicopters, and artillery, and explores how Ukraine could reduce this threat. Jake Bro, a United States Air Force veteran with 371,000 subscribers, brings us video number 14. He draws a comparison between Ukraine's progress and the Allies' operation overload during World War II. Finally, video 15 depicts Ukrainians taking a Russian camp with Russian casualties. That wraps up our top 15 most viewed videos about Ukraine in the past week. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe for more updates on the ongoing situation. Take care and see you next time.